Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Ones Upon a Game, and today I'm going to take a look at the contents of The Pursuit of Happiness by Donald Sherpop and Adrian Abella with Vangelis Bajiotakis. I'm probably saying that wrong, but I love saying Vangelis because Vangelis is one of my favorite composers of all time. And if you've heard Chariots of Fire and Blade Runner, you'll know how great he is. But that's not anything to do with this game, except I get to say Vangelis. I used to say Vangelis, but it's actually Vangelis. Anyway, uh, it's from Stronghold, Artipia Games. And this is kind of like a, a advanced version of the game of life, where you start as a youth and move your way up through retirement and, I guess, death. And it's been very popular, and it will play... Uh, Officially, let's see what it says here. A little find the cute little icon is not on the side, it is on the back. It will play one to four. 60 to 90 minutes, ages 12 and up. So let's dig in, see what you get inside. Another one of those hotness games that's out right now that's supposed to be really cool. Has a great narrative, tells a story. Says so we get one game board, 180 cards, 156 tokens, 36 hourglass markers. They're wooden, 53 wooden cubes, and a rule book. Always good that they provide the rule book. A little annoyed here. This also was in my miniature market shipment and was dished when I got it. Yeah, you can see that there. Hopefully the insert is not crushed like it was for uh, terraforming Mars. So, beautiful box. Very funny. I like the artwork. I like the style of the artwork. Uh, it's pretty darn cool. So we'll see what goes on here. This picture of me at work doing my computer programming. And that's not me at all. Too skinny. Uh, anyway, I think it's Stronghold. They go about the game because the boxes are very flimsy. Anyway, hopefully they can fix that. Pursuit of Happiness. Here are the rules. You got a 16 page rule book, cover to cover. Very bright, colorful. Got uh, like iconography and artwork all over the place. Uh, I like this because, uh, unlike Terraforming Mars, it explains all the components, what they're going to do, how to set up. Uh, you got your round overview. Seems very clear and describes the cards, so on and so forth. I'm really looking forward to this. Looking forward to making little stories about people. I mentioned in another video the playing Traveler. That was one of the cool things about Traveler's uh, role playing game. When I was younger, as you make characters up, and when you make the characters, um, you, you start them at 18 and move them forward until you retire them. Uh, so you can retire them at 40, so they're still young and fit, or you can let them age, and as they age, certain things happen. So uh, I love that progression thing. So see so we got. We've got counters. Decent thickness. Uh, chipboard. Uh, these are just status markers, looks like. Punch pretty cleanly. It's probably a first player marker, would be my guess. And that's what you get with an unboxing is you do not know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's something else because there's these too. Uh, all right. So there's just counters. Got a board. Got a thin board. We'll look at that in a minute. Oh, I still don't know. So, yeah, it's about the same size as uh, Terraforming Mars, I guess. Maybe a little bit wider. I think Terraforming Mars was a little bit square. Same company produced it. So uh, Projects, activities, cards go out here, score track. Various trackers, things like that. Stress, just stress marker. I need one of those in real life, especially around tax time. Nice wooden tokens, though. Hourglass tokens. Those are cool. I like those. Got blue and gold because those are the two coolest colors ever. And there you go. Little hourglasses. Very nice. These are probably some of that. I mean, I, I'm not really into the shaped meeples thing, but these are cool. Well, the shaped markers, counters, I like those, but not necessarily meeples that are posing. Those will go to miniatures. And we got other little markers here in the color groups and some black ones, cubes. And then a bunch of cards, which do the, fulfill the various goals of the game. I do like that they give you a little tab to open cards. I hate having to dig my teeth into them or try to poke them with a sharp object and worry about marking a card. So we get your video game collection if you're a nerd. It's an activity you can do. Your whiskey collection if you're a drunk. Your wine collection if you're a lush. 
aquarium. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't have a fish like that, but we have an aquarium. Basically, we have a, a water treatment project. Bar hopping. I try to take the uh, fish for a walk. They don't like it. The leash won't stay on. Loving. Oh, Saturday Night Fever. I wonder if I'm going to get that reference until I just told him. All right, so we got activity guards. Got your. You got a partner deck. I hate the word partner, but anyway, uh, I don't know what that card is for, but maybe it means something. But the cool thing is they are uh, equal, yet uh, uh, same sex, uh, not same sex, alternate sex on either side of the card. So we have Bobby here and we have Bob. So Bobby and Bob. So if you're a guy, you can pick Bobby. And if you're a girl, you can pick Bob. But the stats are all going to be the same for each one. Uh, so we have Claire and Chuck. Oh, Corey. Claire becomes Corey. Dana becomes Dan. Yes, got that one right. Aaron becomes Aaron or Eric. Eric. Could have been Aaron. That would have been cool. Jamie becomes James. Oh, Jimmy. Catherine becomes Carl. Cameron. Catherine and Cameron. Well, they switch. Anyway, so you got the different love interests that they have. I guess these are just dividers. That's kind of cool, actually. We have job cards. These are also switched because you can pick. Again, the stats are going to be the same, but the uh, the actual job title, so you can kind of play it however you want to. If you don't want to be a technician, you could be a resident doctor. The opposite of me, a programmer, is biologist. Well, sorry, not a biologist. And the opposite of me is probably not a biologist either. All right, so we have job cards. And then we also it's pink there, but... It's kind of confusing with the pink being on the girls, but uh, these are your childhood traits. So I believe you get one of these dealt out at the beginning to tell you your starting characters. All of the randomness of it is kind of like a generator. I once programmed a, a planet generator that was really cool that would create a planet and then give it all these different characteristics and you see if it was habitable or not. So that was kind of the same thing. Uh, just, you know, building a story through random guidance. So you can be a achiever, charismatic, creative, diligent, a haggler. A nerd. Or productive. Well, that's not me. I'm doing this video. Uh, your life goal. I guess you get dealt those two and you work toward those to get bonuses, maybe. So we got life goals. You can take it with you. Have the most coin when you die. Then. You, uh, anyway. So you got uh, uh, reference cards for each player in their color. Oh, I put Bobby at the back. I was like, how do we get Bobby again? Oh, no, I got duplicates. Because I misaligned them. So open this last deck. You get a lot of cards. And they're nice size. They seem a little larger than a poker deck. I don't know how you'd sleeve these. Prepare to get sleeves. These are more items and activities. So you can get a... Your, that was a project. Let's get projects in a minute. So there's just more of the activities. Golfing. Creating a golf course. You can create a mini golf course or you can do a golf course. Jewelry. And the rest of these are different projects you can work on. You can act in a play. So I could be a programmer that acts in a play, which was a conflict I had in college. Uh, they're very nice. I like the artwork. I like the style on it. I like the iconography. I like the options. Uh, I love everything I've heard about it. I can't wait to wait. Oh, my wife could do that. Sudoku tournament. She's loving that. That I don't like. Better not be while you're married. Uh, but anyway. Uh, cool. Game Jam. Soccer team. Music band. Star this is awesome. I mean, I just the variety in this is going to be really, really, really cool. And I'm looking forward to playing it. So you get a bunch of cards. Get some wooden cubes. You get these really cool hourglass uh, markers. You get a game board. Because you got to have a game board. This one wasn't as beat up as Terraforming Mars. I was thinking this. And... A bunch of counters. Or just sort those into a container. Make two sheets of counters that pop out very easily and are very thick and nice and chunky. And a 16 page rule book. And that is everything in the pursuit of happiness. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.